Hello everyone, and welcome to a Renault F1 car with Renault Clio brakes. Well, this is a little idea I had then. I wanted to uh, sort of drive an F1 car with rubbish brakes just to see what it's like. And then I had the idea, well, why not make it something like Clio brakes on an F1 car? Just, uh, just so we can get a good comparison. So on the left here, we have got the normal brakes. And on the right hand side, we have got the Renault Clio brakes. Now, I will say straight away that I have... Obviously, I can't literally swap the brakes on the car, so I have tried to simulate it the best I possibly can um, by giving the car the same stopping distance from 100 kilometers an hour to zero kilometers an hour. So that takes about 40 meters in a Renault Clio, um, a newish one, I believe that is. Uh, so I've made it take about 40 meters to stop from 100, 100 uh, kilometers an hour down to zero. Obviously, um, that's just purely braking performance. Um, lots of other stuff isn't simulated, like, you know, brake wear, brake temperature, that sort of thing. Can't really simulate that, unfortunately, in F1 2019. But uh, it's still interesting nonetheless. You can see on the left-hand side there, these laps are quite similar performance-wise in terms of my sort of cornering speeds. Um, the lap on the left, if anything, just isn't quite so good a lap. You can see we're running very wide there on, uh, on the left-hand side. But... Um, they're quite comparable, really. Um, it's mainly the brakes is by far the biggest differentiator. You can see I'm quite a bit ahead, but not nearly as much as I thought I would be. I'm sure this is surprising you guys as much as it did me. I thought I'd be, you know, two, three, four, five seconds a lap quicker because, you know, chucking some some Renault Clio brakes on an F1 car isn't going to uh, isn't going to do the performance any favours. But as you can see there, it's probably only about maybe a second to a second and a half difference over one lap, which surprised me. But then again, when you think about it, an F1 car's performance. It's on the brakes for such a short amount of time throughout the lap um, that actually that makes a lot of sense really when you, when you think about it like that. Um, and of course as well, the main advantage of F1 cars is that it's so light and it's got so much downforce which also means drag. So at 300 kilometers an hour you come off the throttle and you're probably already braking almost at a Renault Clio level. So once you then add the Renault Clio brakes on top of that, um, you do actually end up braking quite hard. And before we start this race then, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel for more similar content. And we're away then on the grid. So we managed to qualify up in P8, I believe it was, but we already lost a couple of positions off the start then. But everybody here has got the Renault Clio brake. So we'll see what happens when we get into turn one. I'm e braking nice and early, air braking at a normal point, and I actually get shoved wide. And look at this, absolute... I mean, I try and avoid the word carnage. I overuse it, but that is just carnage, isn't it? It's just everybody just flown off the track and trying to rejoin very, very slowly. And we eventually get up and running. I actually end up in P8, so where we started after that, after we get rammed off the track. And we do the same thing here, but we're going to hope we don't get rammed this time. We're going to break nice and early. Get also down. We break, have to break about 50 metres earlier, and we do get hit again, unfortunately. Which means you have to take to the grass there, end up back on the track. And these guys are just sort of parked. The AI actually aren't very great, are they, at rejoining, if we're being honest? They're, uh, I noticed previously, I think they're a little bit too courteous. They just wait a little bit too much. Um, unlike Vettel in Monza, who <laughs> just uh, got going. Uh, AI are very much the opposite of that in this particular game. And uh, up to P5 now then, so still not quite in the lead, despite our, uh, well, I was going to say our much better performance, but of course, we have actually been hit a couple of times, so we've done well actually to keep it on the track, and oh wow, there's, I mean, what is happening there? I think everyone's just ran wide, and it's just caused everyone, I can't get through now because the cars have come through, I literally can't get through, and I'm being hit from behind, look at that, that Force India racing point absolutely flew into the cars behind. And everybody's just trying to get going, and we do eventually get going. And I think we'll have to try that one again, because that's not really great, is it? End up P4, so this time then we drop to the back of the field to see if it's going to be any better this time. We're not going to get rammed this time, so we're going to break nice and early, get it all slowed down with our run-out clear breaks, which is that, that's our latest breaking point, I must add. And they just completely block the track. There's no way through there, unfortunately. We have to wait for them to get out of the way, which they eventually do. We scoot past the Williams end, and these guys, again, look at them, just rejoining so slowly. And we get going again up into P10 from back of the grid. That just shows how slow they are. So, unfortunately, uh, I, I, when I made this mod, I did forget that the AI don't cope well at all when you slow their car down. You can speed their car up, you can make the brakes better, you can make the engine power better, you can make them have more downforce, and they will use it beautifully. They will corner just quicker, they will, they will accelerate faster, and oh, we yeah, push up the track there, actually, by a Haas car. And, um, but yeah, when you make their car worse, they just, they just don't deal with it in any way, shape, or form. So what's happening here is they're more or less braking at their normal point, um, and it's just causing them to run catastrophically wide. Um, so if you wanted to know what it would look like if you had Renault Clio brakes and you braked at the normal point for F1 car, look at the AI. That is exactly what happened. See, we go to the middle of the track, hoping to not get rammed by my teammate, but actually still go off the track, and we still have contact again. Good thing I turned off damage, otherwise this would have just been a retirement fest up into P1 again after lap 1. So we'll try it again. We'll try something a little bit different this time. Again, back of the grid, because we don't want to get rammed. 
And this time, we are going to completely stop on track just to watch what happens. So, going to get it all slowed down and just stop <laughs> in a load of smoke. And look at them all, just all over the place. Some of them are reversing on the grass. Some of them are just driving forward and just being really cautious, get back to the track. Eventually, they do get there. We wait for all of them to come through. Let's see then if this is going to make any difference. See if we can have some sort of half decent race with them. We wait for Stroll taking ages three points to rejoin. So, so slow. But there he goes. He's off now. So now we're going to race normally. I believe, and just see, and look on the mini-map, there's just a load of cars off the track, look at them all there, look, just sitting off track, we're going to see now where we get, see if we have some sort of half-decent race, no, we decide we're going to wait again, because otherwise we'd have just flown past so many cars, and Stroll, I don't know what he's doing, look at the mini-map in the bottom left, he's just sat off track for some reason, absolutely no idea what he's doing, but anyway, we'll ignore him, P19, so there's now quite a substantial gap between P1 and us, so let's see then, if now that they're out of sight, they can we have some sort of race, we're going to five-lap race, we want to try and get all five laps in, if at all possible. At the minute, we've managed all of one lap. Now, I'm half expecting there to be huge carnage in this next corner, because that seems to be the worst one, because there's a wall. And look on the mini-map. What is happening here? Sure enough, look at this. Just everybody's just stopped off the track. We can't even get through. The track's completely blocked. We end up pushing our way through and uh, just give up on that one. We just have a little spin. Last idea then, this is the final idea we'll do to try and get some sort of race. We now wait at this corner, wait for them all to go through. We are now at the back of the grid once again. And we cut that corner, we can't bother with that one. And now we're going to see if we can have somewhat of a proper race. So we're now effectively starting on lap two with them all spread out. Because I reckon a lot of it is because they're holding each other up catastrophically. They're just off track and they're, you know, it's, you know, no you first, no you first, no you first type, type stuff going on. Um, with their logic so we will see how that plans out but we're coming down the straight and I'm just looking on the minimap really more than I'm looking at the game and sure enough there's a load of cars there's a few gone through though but no there's still probably half the field just look at them all just sat here as the Red Bull of Albon oh wow joins and almost takes us out and just threading our way through gain five positions there through uh, one set of corners and we'll see how we get on now. But we have got Charles Leclerc right behind us. He may well take us out into the next corner because we want to try and avoid, which is why we go so much to the inside. And look at them just flying off the track. I actually very nearly leave the track myself because I ran a little bit later uh, than I normally would. And once again, how many positions are that? That's another three positions gained in that corner. So I don't think this race is going to be necessarily that long in terms of until we get to P1. So we have got one, two, three, four, five cars up ahead of us then. So part of the reason as well, I should add, that I chose this track is because... Through this whole section, you don't really touch the brakes. And if you do touch the brake, it's a dab and it makes no difference whatsoever. So I thought there is, there is a huge, there's a couple of big braking points, but mostly you don't use the brake much. So maybe it'd be all right. Ah, oh, but I guess I didn't consider this. But actually, we end up slowing down nice and early and gaining another, I don't know how many positions that was, but a substantial amount. And we're now up to P5. And I suspect we've got four cars ahead of us. We can see them all on the minimap. I suspect we will be past them come the next chicane. If you can even call that triple corner a chicane, because... I suspect they'll all go off the track and be slow again. We will wait to see, but I will tell you as well, keep watching because we'll give you a little highlights of the replay uh, editor, the replay viewer, I should say, uh, just after this clip. So we will see. Are they going to? Yes, look on the minute. They're all just stopped. They're all just waiting for each other. Look at them all. Just being so cautious. Now look, Norris, is that Norris? No signs. Back on the racing line, but still so slow to get back up speed. Eventually he does. And Norris, once again, was back on track, but just getting so, so, or being so slow to get back up speed. I suspect... We're going to be in P1 after these set corners. Because sure enough, off they go. Oh, they're going to be really slow to rejoin. Yes, they are. See, look, they're on the track. They should be getting on with it. And they're just not. Pierre Gasly now in his new Toro Rosso. The game's only just been updated to add Pierre Gasly in the Toro Rosso. And there we go then. So that's enough of that. Let's just have a look at some replays just to see what's happening. <laughs> look at that. They all just stream off the track like ants just going everywhere. Some are going left. Some are going right. Some are reversing. Some aren't. It's just, just carnage. And once again... Look at this, they all just stream off. But actually, look at that. There's a McLaren. It's just... Well, both McLarens, I think. Are both McLarens... Yes, look at that. There's a McLaren up ahead. Let's have a look what happened then. This is on board with Lando Norris. He's actually right at the very back of the field. But, oh, oh, I see. So he makes contact and that slows him down enough. And because he hasn't got any damage, it doesn't cost him anything. And look at that. He picks his way right through the field from very last on the grid. Right up to P1 after the first set of corners. And look at this. We're carrying one, two at the moment. But everybody runs wide, as to be expected. For some reason, Norris has just stopped there. And Norris, though, gets going soon. And oh, my God, look at that. Everyone just absolutely steaming in with their Renault Clio brakes. Oh, my God. They're actually getting some air there in the back. Oh, this is absolutely savage. Just so much crashes. It's just ridiculous. But uh, actually, it looks like we've got a McLaren 1-4 at the moment then. So Lando Norris has streaked off ahead. 
into the distance a bit of... Oh, no, that's actually me speaking there. Get a bit bored. And look at that. That's the final grid then. That's the final podium. Lando Norris up into P1. He managed to win the race. We've got Roman Grosjean in P2. And Pierre Gasly in his Toro Rosso in P3. Well, imagine if that was the grid uh, or the podium, rather, in this weekend's Mexico Grand Prix. We will have to wait and see that one. Hope you enjoyed this video. I was hoping for a little bit better racing on the AI, but there it is. At least we got a funky podium, and I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Bye-bye.